This is the dark story behind Bongo or the Monkey King in Monkey Doodoo. The Monkey King is the most famous and mysterious character in Monkey Doodoo. But players have been wondering what his purpose is or how he even ended up there in the first place. So today, I'll be explaining the truth behind him. Once upon a time, in a VR game called Monkey Doodoo, there was a special character named Bongo. He was a big monkey who wore a shiny crown. You could find him sitting in the main lobby of the game, but there was one strange part. He never moved. Players of the game often wondered about Bongo. They thought maybe Bongo is the main boss at the end of the game, or maybe he's just hiding something. But he didn't seem to do anything. In the game, there were these strange things called portals. They looked like shimmering circles that would show up in different places, and if you used them, you could travel to other maps, like magic doorways. Now one day, a player noticed something that everybody had ignored so far. The Monkey King's jacket. It wasn't just any jacket, it was a jumpsuit worn by pilots when they fly their planes. So this solved the first question. The plane in the back of Bongo belonged to him in some way. No one knows how it crashed in there, but there was this one question. Where did it come from? Maybe that was the explanation for the portals. Maybe the plane came through one of these portals. But still, the players were stumped. There was no plausible explanation for all of this. But what they didn't know, they hadn't explored the biggest mystery yet. The crashed plane itself. It was all broken and beat up, and most players just ignored it thinking it was a part of the decoration. But upon entering it, they realized the plane carried the answer to everything. The first thing they noticed was a big broken cage. A cage big enough to... But no. They didn't even have to estimate if Bongo could fit in there. There were two large footprints on the floor, big enough to be made by only one creature out there. There was a poster on the wall, and on it was a plane with the Bermuda Triangle in the background. But these clues were still not enough. They didn't answer everything. That's when they noticed a hatch in the floor. And upon opening it, what they saw in there shocked everybody. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord channel. Link is in the description below. Now, carry on. Three human skeletons with all their IDs intact. This was the crew of the plane that had taken off. It wasn't being flown by Bongo, it was being flown by these pilots. But even though they first seemed innocent, they were carrying certain secret documents. Documents that explained the dark story of the Monkey King and the reason why he brutally murdered all these pilots. You see, the pilots were actually scientists working at a secret biological lab called Proa. This lab was not only doing illegal experiments on animals, but humans as well. And it seemed like, well, Bongo was one of their first successful experiments. A human cloned with a monkey that not only grew to a massive size, but also retained human intelligence. Bongo used to be a human. However, there was a risk, a risk that the people of America would find out about this and then Proa would be doomed. So the scientists decided that Bongo be transported to Puerto Rico. This way they could keep both Bongo and Proa hidden from the prying eyes of the CIA. But there was just one problem, the plane had to pass through the Bermuda Triangle. Now for those of you who don't know, the Bermuda Triangle has been known to be one of the most mysterious places on Earth. There have been many ships and planes that have disappeared in there without a trace. But the scientists said Proa didn't really care about that part. However, as the plane started nearing the triangle, Bongo started to act weirdly. And when the plane entered it, Bongo lost all his human intelligence. One of the scientists tried to sedate him, but it was too late. An infuriated Bongo broke open the cage with his massive energy as the pilots took refuge in the hatch below. But the plane was now out of control. It crashed, however, not into the water, but on a strange island in the middle of Bermuda Triangle with portals to other universes. The scientists would have been baffled at this discovery, but unfortunately, they had died of the crash, locked in the hatch. But Bongo was still alive. With his legs having broken during the crash, Bongo crawled into the middle of the little island and sat down there wearing a jumpsuit stolen from one of the pilots. Eventually, the island became inhabited by other monkeys of his kind. They retained human intelligence, but they still couldn't figure out who Bongo even was. Well, this is who Bongo was. The creator of the monkeys in Monkey Doodoo. There's a reason why the monkeys can talk. There's a reason why you can talk. But Bongo? Bongo had forgotten everything everything about the human once was. 
If you like this video, maybe you'll also be interested in the full story of Daisy 9 and Gorilla Tag.